Hey guys, Neely here and I am coming in just to show you real quick what's going on in my kitchen today. I've been doing some baking and kind of a little bit of in towards the end of the month prep work for some uh, just some extra stuff since we've been working through all the freezer cooking that I've done uh, that I did at the beginning of the month. So I'm adding on a few things and you can see Autumn back there working on the giant pile of dishes that I have created this morning. I have been doing quite a few things. I'll flip the camera around and show you what I got. The first thing I did this morning was a huge batch of uh, Dutch Baby or German pancakes. Family loves that. I have a video on those. I'll put a link down below. And then I did a huge triple batch of the Busta Myth banana cake, the THM E version. Um, and I'm packaging them up to freeze. I just put them each um, in a little plastic bag and then put them in a freezer bag and I'll throw those in the freezer to make easy meals and um, if you guys have used this recipe you know it has a lot of egg whites in it so I had a bunch of egg yolks left over so I made a huge batch of my low carb lemon curd which I also have a video on and I will link that um, below as well but I did three big jars of it and this will last it probably won't last super long because it's so good we eat it all the time the family loves to eat it on the German pancakes my favorite thing is to put it with 0% um, Greek yogurt and um, it makes it into an S snack or an S dessert and it's so, so delicious. So I made three cakes, three of the BAM cakes, and then I'm also making three of the Busta Myth cakes, but in a version for my family. Um, I used whole eggs instead of egg whites and um, what else? Oh, uh, organic sugar instead of the THM sweetener. And then I had some vanilla goat milk yogurt that I needed to use up, so I used that in place of the 0%. So it's definitely a crossover, and it has the sugar in it, so it would be off plan. But it's for my family, and it's good for them. I also have this giant box of tomatoes from our garden. We've been getting tons of tomatoes recently. And I just um, got back from the store a little bit ago getting stuff to make some pico de gallo. I have my cilantro and jalapenos and some red onion and I got some lemon juice in the fridge and so I'm gonna work on that. It's a hot day today, um, about 100 degrees it's supposed to get up to which is very hot for us. So I got all my cooking done this morning up into this early afternoon and now I'm gonna turn off the oven and um, just work on the cool stuff like chopping up tomatoes and making pico de gallo. So that's it, that's what I got going on in my kitchen. Just thought I'd let you have a little peek. I will be back again sometime soon. Bye guys. <laughs>